It's one of the most coveted jobs on and off the planet. The risks are great. The rewards greater. The chance to orbit the Earth is a dream only a few can make reality. I'm following in the footsteps of all 355 shuttle crew members after being given rare access to Houston's Astronaut Training Center. This is a life-size mock-up of the shuttle. Astronauts spend months here familiarizing themselves with every inch of the spacecraft. Although the space shuttle looks huge from the outside, inside it's actually very cramped. This is an airlock between the living quarters and the cargo bay back there. And through here ah, is where the crew eat, sleep and get on with their work. In the cockpit, I met Mike Fink. Jonathan, welcome aboard. <laughs> he was on the last shuttle mission and has lived on the International Space Station, spending more days in space than any other American. You know, most of the time we train for about a year and a half or two years for a space shuttle mission. Do you get nervous? We're sitting on, on top of uh, millions of gallons of, uh, of explosives and, you know, there's, we've lost space shuttles before, but I, I have faith in the system and perhaps I'm not so bright myself that I, I never get nervous. Um, I, the, only, the only thing that I worry about is me not doing my job to the best of my abilities. This simulator recreates the shuttle launch and landing. Only hours before I turned up, the Atlantis crew were inside here for a final training run. That's the launch pad. Launch pad yeah. Yep, that's going to be disappear really quick. So 10 seconds. Now it was my okay, turn for an out of this world experience. As we go. Oh. All right, and away we go. Oh, launch, blast off. Earth to orbit takes just eight and a half minutes. You look out, you can actually see the curvature of Earth. But could I land the shuttle? If the diamond goes left, what are you going to want to do? Go right. Nope. Why? Why would you want to go right? Uh, go left. Go left. There you go. You want to follow the diamond. I'm following the diamond. Okay. Okay. As soon as your nose touches down, yeah. use your feet to steer. Okay. I told you you were going away on the shuttle. <laughs> they should let me on Atlantis. Surely. <laughs> Safely back on Earth, I headed to NASA's virtual reality lab. Here, oh, wow. trainee astronauts get a realistic view of life from inside the space station. Oh yeah, there it is. And this hands-on experiment proves how tricky it is working whilst wearing spacesuit gloves. I'm all fingers and thumbs. Every credible astronaut also needs a space buggy. Come on back. Go right. I think there's some extraterrestrials over here. I don't want to run them over. <laughs> I, I might not have a degree in astrophysics, but I did have a blast. And after a visit to the shuttle's bathroom, it was time to sleep. Zero gravity style, of course.